Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Ona de Guzman, and our topic for today is Types of Lines and Other Terms in Geometry for Grade 7, Quarter 3. So the first term that we will talk is collinear points. So based on our illustration on the left side, so we had the points YTC as well as we had the point CARE. So we have here point CARE are collinear points because they are lying on the same line or they are lying on one line. However, the points Y, T, and C are non-collinear points because they are not lying on one line. So for our definition, collinear points are points that lie on the same line. So the next terms that we have here, so we have coplanar points and coplanar lines. So from our illustration on the left side, so we have here points L, O, B, E. So we have points L, O, B, E are coplanar points because they are lying on the same plane. However, if we will consider the points A, B, and E are non coplanar points because they are not lying on the same plane. On the other hand, we have a line or lines F and B are coplanar lines because they are lying on the same plane. However, if we have line F and line C are non-coplanar lines. So to define coplanar points are points lie on the same plane. On the other hand, coplanar lines are lines that lie on the same plane. So the next definition of terms that we will talk about is intersecting lines. So we have the illustration on the left side. We have here, okay, line F and line B intersect at point D. So uh, this is the intersection. And point D is the point of intersection. Again, so to define intersecting lines are lines that meet at exactly one point called the point of intersection. The next one is parallel lines. So based on our illustration on the left side, so we have line F and line B. So we have line F is parallel to line B so because they are lying on the same plane. And in symbols, so we have here, okay, line F is parallel to line C are called, okay, parallel lines. Okay, parallel lines are coplanar lines that do not intersect. Again, so we will move on to the next definition of term. So we have concurrent lines. So observe the illustration on the left side. So we have lines C, O, and S are concurrent at point T. So because they meet, at point T. Okay, they are lying on the same plane. On the other hand, so we have lines P, A, and I are concurrent at point D. So observe that. So we have lines A and I are not coplanar. So we can say that points T and D are points of concurrency. So for our definition, so we have concurrent lines are three or more that uh, lines that intersect at a common point called the point of concurrency. Observe that, okay, uh, concurrent lines may be coplanar as we have on the first example or non-coplanar on our second example. Let's move on to skew lines. So based on our illustration on the left side, so as we can see that, okay, line R and line C are skew lines because they are not lines that do not intersect. Okay, because these two lines, line R and line C belongs to two different planes. On the other hand, okay, line F and line X are skew lines also because they are not lying on the same plane. Again, if we say skew lines are lines or non-coplanar lines that do not intersect. So again, so in order to recall what we have discussed on types of lines and other terms in geometry, so let's try letter A. So refer to the figure at the right side and answer the following completely. So let's have name three collinear points. So we can have actually, so point, points F, 
G and H. So if we will look on the illustration on the right side, so we have the point F, point uh, G, as well as on point H because they are lying on the same line. Next, name two coplanar points. So we can pick, okay, point A as well as point B. Number three, name three pairs of intersecting lines. So we can have actually in the line C and line D. We have here line C and line D as well as line C and line E. So where's that? So this is line C that intersect on this part, okay, line, okay, line E. And then we have line E and line D. Number four, name two coplanar lines. So we have actually line E and line D because they are lying on the same plane. Next, name three concurrent lines. So from our uh, illustrations, we have, okay, line C, line E, and line D are three concurrent lines. So let's move on to the second part of our exercise. So that is look at each picture, identify the geometric term that best represents the following. So let's look on number one. So number one, actually it is a representation of points and there are lines. So we have actually collinear points. Next on number two, so we have points lying on the same plane. So again, so this is a representation of coplanar points. Number three, so what do we have here? So we have lines, okay? And they are lying on the same plane. So they are actually parallel lines for number three. Number four, there are two possible answers. So we can either have the intersecting lines or we can have actually concurrent lines. Number five. So number five is a representation of concurrent lines because they are actually intersect at one point. So that ends our discussion on types of lines and other terms in geometry. Again, this is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.